Hey, it's Coach Reeves. Today, I'm here to help you to solve some equations with natural logs, okay? I'm not gonna go into too much detail about natural logs. I'm gonna teach you how to solve equations, okay? But when we're talking about natural logs, you cannot talk about natural logs without bringing up the letter E. It's also known as, known as Euler's number, which is a mathematical constant that is equal to 2.71828. Okay, like in pi, you know pi is 3.14. All right, E is gonna be 2.71828. All right, it is also the base of a natural log. Now, a whole lot, that doesn't mean a whole lot to you, but right now I'm just gonna show you how to solve some equations and we're gonna review some properties. All right, here's some properties that we don't talk about that much, okay, but they exist. But we don't do them because we have a calculator that'll help us. But here's a property. It says when the base matches the base, the exponent is the answer. And sometimes it's hard to see this, but look at what my base is. Let's come here. My base is log base 3. I'm going to rewrite this so you can see it. I have log base 3. There's my base. But then I have an exponent. And I have 3 to the second power. My log base matches the base of my exponent. And when the base matches the base, then the exponent is your answer. When the base matches the base, the exponent is your answer. And we're gonna use this property a little bit to help you out, okay? Now, this the next one is, this is an exponent. What if I have a base of five? That's my base. And then what if I have an exponent? And this exponent says log base five. Now, the base of my exponent is five. The base of my log is five. And if we were doing this, then we would say that this equals two. When the base matches the base, then that little exponent, that's gonna equal Two. They're gonna, it's going to be your answer. It's going to reduce or it's going to cancel. Okay. So what we're saying is when this matches, it's going to cancel and that's going to leave me with two equals two. When this matches, this is going to cancel and that's going to leave you with two equals two. Okay. Remember that. All right. Quick review. Okay. We had a problem like this that we worked. Okay. And when we worked this problem, we would go, we would just convert this to a log. We would try to get this exponent portion by itself and we would say log base eight, and instead of being paired with the B, we would go to 10 and we would say log base eight of 10 equals B. And then we would let the calculator take care of us, okay? But the property that we could have used before the calculator would be this. If I took the log base eight to both sides. Now, no one's gonna do it. We're gonna do it the way that we were taught and then the easy way to let the calculator do it. But what's gonna happen is if my base matches my base, my base matches my base, this would cancel and I would get B equals log base eight of 10. And look where we are. The same situation, okay? Good, all right, we can do this. All right, just remember this property because this property is gonna come into play in just a second. One thing we need to remember, you need to put this on your paper somewhere. Natural log, LN stands for natural log. I know it's backwards on the letters, but LN stands for natural log, and it is equal to log base E. Now, you won't ever see anybody write log base E. They're going to write LN for natural log instead. They mean the same thing. No one writes log base E. They're going to write LN for natural log. So look at that first problem, okay? Let me copy this because we're going to do this twice. E to the x plus 2 equals 12. Okay? So here's what I'm saying. What if we used our properties and we did this, log base E. 
check this out. My base matches this base. If your base matches your base, then this is gonna cancel, that exponent's gonna drop out and you're gonna get x plus two. But the rule is, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. But what did we say? No one, no one writes log base E. What do they write instead? They write ln for natural log. So there, we're not gonna take the log base E to both sides. We're gonna take the natural log to both sides. When you take the natural log, that's the same thing as log base E. This will cancel. This will cancel. And then whatever your exponent will drop down and you're gonna get x plus two equals the natural log of 12. Long story short, when you're trying to solve equations with your E, you're gonna take the natural log to both sides to make the E cancel or disappear. Got it? Now you're in this port, or this part, and you need to determine what the natural log of 12. So we're gonna to go to our calculator. Let's go to my calculator. Let's go to a new page. We're gonna calculate and I need to take the natural log of 12. So we're gonna go control over here to the left of the number one, we're gonna get e to the x power, and we're gonna get the natural log, and we want the natural log of 12. And this is what the natural log of 12 is. 2.48491, 2.48491. So this is gonna give me 2.48 Four eight four nine one x plus two equals this. We want to solve for x. We're going to go minus two, minus two. We're going to get x equals. These are going to cancel. Point four eight four nine one. Now, at the top of your page of your worksheet, they're going to ask you to round to the nearest 10,000. That's four decimal places. So we're going to count one, two, three, four. We're going to look at the fifth number. The fifth number is a one. So we're going to round down or just leave it. So my final answer would be 0.48, uh, 0.4849. Okay. All right, let's go to our next our first example. Okay, let's go to our worksheet. So they're gonna ask you to round to the nearest 10,000, four decimal places. But what I want you to do is when we solve these problems, I'm gonna ask you, I need you to get the E portion by itself. I need to move stuff and get that by itself before we take the natural log to make it disappear. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, divided by 10, divided by 10, this will cancel. I get e to the negative 7x minus 10 equals, when I divide that gives me 3.7. Now my e portion is by itself. Now I want to make the e go away. How do I make the e go away? We're going to take the natural log because that's going to make it cancel but whatever we do to one side we have to do to the other this is going to cancel that will leave me with a negative 7x minus 10 equals the natural log of 3.7 okay let's go to our calculator We're going to say negative 7x minus 10 equals, what we say? The natural log of 3.7. So let's put this in the calculator. Control, natural log, 3.7, and we're going to hit enter. 
and that's what I get. But I want to solve, I want to solve for x. So to solve for x, I'm going to go plus 10, plus 10. I am not going to round, I am not going to touch this number. I'm not going to round until the very end, the last step. Okay? So we're going to add 10 to that. So we're going to say plus 10. We're taking our answer, we're adding 10 to it, we're going to hit enter. We're still not going to round until the very end because this canceled and this leaves me with negative 7x equals 11.3083. But we're still not rounding. We're just going with that number. So what are we going to do now? We're going to divide by negative 7. Divided by negative 7, divide by negative 7. Divided by negative 7. We're going to hit enter. Now, this is the number we want to round. How many decimal places? Four. So we're going to count and we're going to say one, two, three, four, and the fifth number is an eight, which makes us going to round up. So my final answer should be a negative 1.615. There's my final answer. Okay? All right, let's try another one. Let me get rid of this. Let's race, race this for the next time. Because we're going to do some more examples. Going back to my worksheet. All right. So, remember what we asked you to do. We're going to ask that you get the E portion by itself. To do the E portion by itself, we're going to divide by 7, divide by 7. That will leave me with E to the 7 minus 10N equals 26 divided by 7. I don't need to convert that to a decimal just yet. Just leave it, okay? But what we are going to do is we're going to take the natural log to make the E go away. The natural log is going to make the E cancel. That's going to leave me with 7 minus 10N equals the natural log of 26 over 7. So I want to go 7 minus 10N equals the natural log of 26 over 7. All right, so let's go to our calculator. We're going to say 7 minus 10n equals the natural log of 26 over 7. So let's find the natural log of that fraction. So we're going to say control, get the ln, and we're going to say 26 divided by 7. Enter. There's your starting point. There's our first, but we're not rounding yet. What we are going to do is we're going to say minus 7, minus 7. So we're going to say minus 7. Enter. We're still not going to round. We're going to wait. Okay? So this is going to give me negative 10n equals, what's that on our paper? Negative 5.6, 8. Seven eight one. We're going to divide by negative ten. Divide by negative ten. Enter. This is the number you want to round to four decimal places to the nearest ten thousand. So we're going to count. One two three four. The fifth number. The fifth number is an eight. We're going to round up. Final answer. Point five. Six, eight, eight. You see the pattern yet? Okay, let's do some more problems. A little bit different situation now on the next problem though, okay? On the next problem, LN, the natural log, the natural log. This guy does not have a natural log. If you remember when we did problems like that with just regular logs, 
What we ask you to do in this situation is we ask you to condense. We ask you to condense and then solve this, okay? So this is gonna be the natural log. What is this minus say? We're gonna say two divided by x minus five, that equals one. Okay, this is what we're kind of thinking in our head, but I'm gonna show you how to fix this. This is why we do this. Log base E. Log base E is the same thing as LN, but we're just thinking, we're never gonna write this. Log base E of two over X minus five equals one. What if, if you remember that first property, what if my base, my base was an E and that was my exponent? And I made this my base and that was my exponent. Do you remember what it says? If your base matches your base, then it's gonna cancel. This would cancel and that would leave me with two over x minus five equals e to the first power. Got it? So this isn't log base e, this is ln, but the same thing still applies. So we're gonna say e, make this our exponent, e, make this our exponent, this is going to cancel and leave us with two over x minus five equals e to the first power. Solution? All right, so here we go. We need to work on this equation. Do you know what e to the first power is? Okay, let's go to our calculator. And I get two over x minus five equals e to the first power or just an e. I don't know if you remember at the very beginning in our notes what we said it was. So we're gonna use the calculator to help you, okay? E, push the button. E to the first power, enter. Remember what we said, it's what we said on the very first page, 2.71828. That's E to the first power. So we're gonna solve this equation, 2.71828. If I give you some more room, let's erase this. We don't need this anymore. At two, whoopsies, two over x minus five equals 2.71828. We're gonna need to move, bring this up from the bottom, okay? So we're gonna multiply we're gonna put this in parentheses and we're gonna multiply times x minus five times x minus five. Okay, this is gonna cancel. This is gonna leave me with two equals. Now I need to distribute. I'm gonna distribute. And that's gonna give me 2.71828. Minus, and I need to multiply it times a negative five. And when I multiply it times a negative five, I'm gonna get 13.5914. Saves you the trouble, I've done that before. We could go to the calculator, but that's what you would get, okay? Now, I wanna get, remember now, we wanna solve for x. So I need to move some stuff. I need to move this and I need to go plus 13.5914 plus 13.5914. This is gonna cancel. This is gonna give me 15.5914 equals 2.7. 1828x. Yeah, that's a lot of decimal places, but that's what happens when we're solving these equations. Now you're going to divide. We're going to divide by 
2.71828 divided by 2.71828. This is going to cancel and we're going to get x equals when you put this in your calculator 15 divided by 2.71 you're going to get excuse me sorry you're going to get 5.7356 no 3576 undo it's erased We're going to count one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now I use my calculator and I have this written here, but I can't do this in my head. And this is going to tell me to round up. So my final answer would be five. Well, that's ugly. Five point seven three five eight is my final answer. Okay. That's a pretty complicated problem. I don't know if we're going to get much harder than that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Natural log, natural log, natural log. Now we still have to use some of our properties when we condense, but everything is going to drop out because everybody has the same log. So we're going to set this up as x squared minus 1 divided by 7 equals 32. When everybody has the exact same log, it drops out and we set up our equation, but we still have to use this condensing property. Now to move to 7, we're going to go times 7 times 7. This will cancel x squared minus 1 equals 224 plus 1 plus 1 x squared equals 225 we take the square root we take the square root and you will tell me that x equals a positive negative 15 now here's the thing we didn't come in into one of those problems that you have to check. We need to start checking our answers because remember the same rules apply to logs when you have extraneous solutions, okay? You cannot take the log of zero, it's undefined. You cannot take the log or the natural log of a negative number. So the same rules that apply to logs apply to natural logs also. You can't take the natural log of a zero and you can't take the natural log of a negative number. Okay, all right, so this is different. You might have questions. Send us an email, show up in the Zoom, ask us some questions. We don't know what to fix unless you try it and get stuck. It's okay to get stuck, but let us help you. Good luck.